Hello friends, Misha Crossing here with a new playthrough series. Um, this is Stardew Valley, a fairly new uh, game that has come out. I think it came out in March on Steam. It is a... Basically a farming... Not basically, it's more than that. I mean, you, you, you run your farm, you can find little monsters, you can go fishing, you can uh, craft things, you can upgrade your house and your tools, you can interact with people in town, you can even get married. Um, it's a very involved game. Um, there's so many places to explore and so many things to do, and I'm so excited to jump into it. Um, so let's just jump into it. I have played a little bit of it just to get a feel for the controls and just the, the basics of the game, but I haven't played, I think I've only played three days of it, um, which is just a Probably an hour or two of it, so not too much. I'm going to be female. My name is going to be Misha. My farm name, I believe, is going to be Kiyoshi. Um, I've always been a big fan of the Kiyoshi Warriors. I'm in just Avatar Kiyoshi from uh, Avatar. The Avatar World, Avatar The Last Airbender, and Avatar Legend of Korra. Favorite thing? Oh, I like breakfast a lot. I'm going to put breakfast. <laughs> I don't know what sort of bearing that has in the game. I've been debating what animal I want. I don't know what bearing that has in the game either. I feel like a cat will be able to, you know, catch mice and rats and pests around a farm, but a dog might be able to help you fight monsters. I don't know. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go with a dog, just in case he can help me fight. Um, and so now I'm gonna get to customize the look of my character. Skin one is probably gonna be best. Ooh, 24 is just a little pale. Maybe 23. Yeah, I'm gonna go with skin 23. My eye color is a pretty dark brown. What does this do? Oh, okay. It'd make it a little bit more. Okay, okay, I see. Um, okay, so yeah, my eye color is a pretty dark brown. My hair, it is, oh, that's the hairstyle. Let's do the hair color first, and then I can see kind of what style I would want to go with it. My hair is pretty blonde. Um, I'm a natural brunette, but oh, I'm trying to get the, the yellow. There we go. Yeah, I'm, okay, so I'm a natural brunette, um, but I have recently, well, in the past few months, dyed my hair very blonde. I'm trying to get to like a uh, silvery blonde. Let's see if I can play around with this and get the color that I want. Okay, that looks good. Um, for my hairstyle, oh, that's those are some big bangs. There's a lot of hairstyles. Oh, cutie. Um, I do like a bun. I like a good bun. I might do the bun. What's this? Can't even tell what that is. Oh, just nice. Oh, actually, I might want to have just some nice long hair with some bangs. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing that one. Unless something else just wonderful comes along. No, no, no. Oh, back to hair one. I think the hair one is the kind of traditionally masculine hairstyles, but I think I'm going to do, nope, not that one, this one. Okay, there we go. And what shirt do I want? Okay, I think I like this. I love black. I'm a huge fan of black. What except? Oh, oh, okay. I don't want to. I don't really want a beard or a mustache, but good to know it's an option for me. Um, what's that? What is this? Oh, those just earrings. I think those are earrings. Glasses. I do have glasses, but I don't think I want glasses in the game. Oh, some makeup. That's nice. I think I might. I might use the makeup. That looks good. I need to do my pants color. I'll just do just a little bit of a more classic denim. 
I don't get to pick my shoes, do I? Okay, I think. Oh, put my shirt. Okay, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna stop fiddling. I think. There was one that I really liked. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. Hold on. It was like a... Is it this one? Okay, never mind. Going back to the black. Back to black. Black, 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 black. There we go. Okay, okay. Guys. I'm done. So here we go. I'm not gonna skip the intro. I'm gonna watch the whole intro. I'm gonna take you all through it. Let's go. I like the little setup. Okay. Um, we got a green Santa lying in bed. Is this Santa's brother, maybe? And for my very special granddaughter. So he's our grandpa, or my grandpa. I want you to have the sealed envelope. Okay. Give it here. Give it, give it, give it, give it, give it. What a strange room setup. Who has their bed like that? No, no. Don't open it yet. Have patience. Okay. Now, listen close. I'm, I'm listening. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Right now. That, that day is now. This exact second. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. That's... bleak. <laughs> when that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. But I'm ready for it now. I want it now. Ugh. Now, let Grandpa rest. XX years later. Where are we? Oh, we're at, we're at Joja. Joja, join us. Thrive. Well, we got our little managers watching over us behind the glass. All our workers in our cubicles with our, our cameras on us. Oh, that guy's been- oh, that guy's been terminated. I'm sorry, friend. There's little- little Mimi. She looks like she's asleep. Am I asleep? I hope I'm not asleep. Maybe I am. Or I'm just stressed. Oh, I was asleep. <laughs> I'm so short. Oh, what do I have here? So overburdened. Overburdened by the by modern life, so I will open this envelope. Dear Misha, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Kiyoshi Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Okay, Grandpa. Let's go, uh, check this place out. See what Grandpa's left for us. Oh, look at those mountains. So pretty. Going in our little bus here along a, a mountain path. So peaceful. So tranquil. Oh. Stardew Valley, 0.5 miles! Woo! So close. So close. Oh, and a little burb. A little burb coming to welcome us to the farm. Think we're here. Here we are. Robin! Hello, you must be Misha. Robin, you're so pretty. I like your hair. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. So Lewis is still here. He's the mayor. The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. Okay. Following Robin to our farm. Looks, uh, very full full of nature, is what it is. <laughs> this is Kiyoshi Farm. I look- oh, oh, I look a little overwhelmed. A little stressed. 
What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Sure hope so, Robin. I'm gonna I'm gonna work at it. My hair looks kinda gray. Whatever, I want it to be like grace, white, silver. And here we are, your new home. Oh, hello. Ah, the new farmer. Yes. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Yeah, I am quite a big deal. Thank you for noticing. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. It looks very cozy. I'm a fan. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Look at her with her little palm up. <laughs> Crusty might be a little bit more apt, though. Oh, Robin. Ugh, rude. <laughs> Don't listen to her, Misha. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. <gasps> oh. <laughs> She's been caught. She's been had. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Okay, I'd love to meet everybody. <laughs> Robin, look at her. Still mad at the mayor. I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Thank you, mayor. Oh, there goes Robin. I guess she's not mad at him anymore. <laughs> oh, great. We have a rooster waking us up. Just what I've always wanted. Progress has been saved. And here we are in our home. You can so yeah, move AS or W A S D <laughs> run is shift. Actually to that makes you not run if you put shift down. Um we have a little gift here in our house. Got some parsnip seeds and a new journal entry. Oh, you received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Mary Lewis. Oh, I actually wanted to go into the menu. I needed to do some options. I want to always show the tool hit location um, because I uh, it's kind of difficult to know where the tool is going to hit at first in the game. So I just wanted to, uh, yeah, just wanted to show that and turn some music down a little bit. Okay, so we have a new journal entry. Let's go to the journal. Getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil, then use a seed pocket on the tilled soil to sow the crop. Water every day until the crop is ready for harvest. So our first little goal, little quest, is to cultivate and harvest a parsnip. Okay. There was something else in here. Introductions. It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. Two out of 28 people greeted. If, if my math is correct, that means we have 26 people left to go. Okay, got this. So I think you can you can move things around. Oh, I wanted, I also wanted to uh, make the toolbar locked in place. Let me see, let me see. Lock toolbar. There we go. So it's always on the bottom. And then I can left click and move things around in my house, but... Um, everything's pretty pretty basic right now, so I don't really need to move everything around. Um, so let's just go on outside and start our day. So we need to plant some parsnips, which means we need room to plant the parsnips. So I need to do some some clearing. I can use my different tools down here in my toolbar. I'm gonna clear some grass out. There we go. It's making making a lot of room. I guess it doesn't show it. The scythe is that how you pronounce it? It's tool hit location since uh, it just kind of covers an area. <laughs> um, okay, I think I'll get just this here. That's good. Anytime you use a tool, it uses energy from your your energy bar over here. I'm at 270 out of 270, which is good. I guess the scythe doesn't use any, which is nice. Oops. Okay, pickaxe. Okay, yeah. Now there's the tool hit location marker. Use the pickaxe, get rid of some of these rocks here. Okay, yeah, so it's using a little bit of energy every time. 262 out of 270 now. Um, so you have to watch that. Make sure you don't 
use at all. That's why I'm not gonna just... If it wouldn't use any energy, I'd probably go ahead and clear everything out of here in, uh, in one go, but it would use probably a couple energy bars to do that, so I think I'll keep... Uh, I'll just clear out this little area here. I think I'll get rid of this stone as well. Okay. Um, what am I doing? Okay, I need to I need to hoe the soil. To uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want it right there. I didn't want it right in front of my house. Ugh, whatever. See, it's even showing the tool hit location. But it didn't do it in that exact spot. Okay, so that's- ooh, I got- what was that? Oh, I got some clay. So that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, now I can go and plant my parsnips. Just gonna go all through here. Pretty easy to plant, you just have to click, which is nice. But you do have to be close to the square where you're you're planting, and now I need to water it all so that it will so that they will grow. Man, I can imagine after I plant more than, you know, a couple patches of, of seeds, it's gonna take forever to water things. And use a lot of energy too. But I assume there's a watering can upgrade that will let you water, you know, more things, which will be nice. And I think I can refill my watering can down. Oh, come on. Refill my watering can down here. No, I don't want to water that. Here, let's clear that out. Okay. <laughs> I just want to fill my watering can, please. There we go. Okay. And I think fiber, um... I don't think I can use this for anything. Let's take a look in our menu. So we've got our inventory here. I think I can get a backpack um, in order to be able to store things down here, but don't have that yet. Starting off with 500 gold. Haven't earned anything yet. And my skills. Got farming, mining, foraging, fishing, and combat, which obviously I don't have any of those skills yet. Social. Oh, there's everybody in town to meet. Obviously, I've, okay, I've met Lewis. And Robin so far. I don't know. Does that mean they've given me things? I don't know. Um, but obviously there's little heart meters there, friendship meters there. I've got the map of everything. I'm not gonna go through all of that right now. Um, crafting, I've got, these are the um, recipes I know right now. So does anything use fiber? Wood, wood, wood and sap, wood, stone, stone, Oh, a campfire needs fiber. Okay, so I'll keep I'll keep some fiber, um, but not too much. I do need to build a chest soon. I need 50 wood, so I'm gonna go ahead and oh goodness, I'm gonna go ahead and get a chest. I'm gonna go ahead and get 50 wood because I've got I've got six so far. Oh, pickaxe is not what gets wood. No, come on. Hitting things on the menu bar with a, a Mac mouse is kind of frustrating. This game isn't built for a Mac, so that's probably why it's frustrating for me right now. Um, oh, look at all that. Sap, wood. How much is that? Nice. We've got 19 wood. Um, yeah, so that's something I wanted to mention. Stardew Valley is not available for Mac yet, but I am playing this on a Mac, funny enough. Um, because I used wine which is a um, program application that lets you play, or that lets you use Windows um, applications on a Mac. It basically converts the file type for you, I think, um, which is really interesting. It's not very user-friendly at all. It's very complicated if you don't know what you're doing, but thankfully someone made a really um, simple step-by-step -step user guide in for how to play Stardew Valley on a Mac. Um, you still have to, I didn't pirate the game or anything, I still, um, I still bought the game from Steam and downloaded it. It's just a way to, uh, play it on a Mac. So, just some of the, I mean, all the controls are the same, but just the way that a Mac mouse is built is very different from a PC mouse, so, makes it a little bit more 
um, I don't know, just scrolling through the toolbar is really fast and doesn't have good controls. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's not too complicated. So I have 50 wood. I can craft a chest now so I can store things because I'm going to be getting a lot of items. Okay, I have it in my inventory now. So I can place it. I think you can, yeah, you can move it after you build it. I'm just going to put it right there. So I'll put some uh, materials that I've gathered in there just so I'm not hauling everything around. I'm a uh, notorious hoarder in video games <laughs> in Animal Crossing. I've collected, when I first started playing, I kept like every piece of furniture, everything. Oh, look, a bunny! Aww. Um, every piece of furniture, anything I possibly could. So that's probably what I'm gonna start doing in this game until I learn kind of what I need and what I don't need. What's this? Oh, a leak! Okay. So there's the bus station up there where we came from. I'm gonna go to town and meet some people. It's 3 p.m. My energy's pretty low. I shouldn't be doing too much more, more work. I'll just go and explore what I can, talk to some people, see what there is to see. And it looks like there's a little doctor's office here. What does that say? It's locked. Open 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Okay, so it's already closed. There's a little notice board in front of Pierre's. It's got a little calendar. So today's um, spring, year one. Um, so Sunday is Lewis's birthday. Day seven is Lewis's birthday. And then we've got other birthdays coming up. Egg Festival's the 13th. I wonder if that's kind of like... I wonder if that's kind of like Easter, or I wonder if it's something to do with, uh, you know, farming eggs. Maybe I need chickens by then. I don't know. Flower dance. Oh, that's. <gasps> I wonder if I can bring it. Can I bring a date to the flower dance? Who do I want to bring? Oh my gosh, I don't know. <laughs> so let's go into Pierre's. What a cute shop. Who's this? Is this no, it's not Robin. <gasps> Leah. Oh, you're pretty. Everybody's so pretty. Hello. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Talk to me. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Yes, it is, and so are you. Mm. Cutie patootie. Might marry you. <laughs> Here's Pierre. Oh, okay. I'm not talking to him. I'm just buying from him. Let me actually talk to him so I can meet him. Hey, it's Miss Misha, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Awesome. I think I'll go ahead. Yeah, I could sell that leak to him, so I'll sell that. Um, okay, so I already have some parsnip seeds. I don't need that, but I have heard um, beans are good things to plant because you can, uh, they take a long time to mature, but they keep producing because, um, yeah, it yields multiple, multiple beans per harvest and the seeds just kind of keep producing. So I'm going to buy three of those. Hmm. Maybe five. Oh, I'm spending my money a lot. Let's not buy five. Um, and then cauliflower, I know I heard sells for a lot. So I'm going to buy, oh gosh, I'm going to buy a bunch of those. Yep, there goes all my money. Bought four of those, four beans, four cauliflower. Um, I'll sell some stuff tonight, make a little bit of money back. Um, other good things down here, got potatoes, tulips, kale, lots of stuff to buy that I do not need right now. Okay, I don't need to use my cauliflower right now. I'll plant it later. Let's see, who else can we meet? 4 p.m. Oh, hello, who are you? Oh, come here, come here. <gasps> Caroline, oh, you're cute. Hello, you must be Misha, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Oh, just so many people that I that I that I want to get to know better. <laughs> oh, who's this little guy or girl? I can't tell. <gasps> Vincent. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Good eye, Vincent. Good eye. Well, who are you? Harvey. Oh, you're uh, attractive. Oh, the local doctor. Mm. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Talk to me some more. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. You can check me regularly anytime you want, Harvey. Mm. Looking good. 
I'm just gonna marry everybody. <laughs> I'm liking everybody in this game so far. Oh, let's see who's down here. Come on, talk, speak. Oh, Penny, hi. Oh, she's shy, Penny's shy. Oh, did you want something? She looks so, so shy and humble. Oh, I can't talk to her anymore. Yeah, she's a little, a little shy thing. Maru? 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 I don't know. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Oh, you look sweet. Link of glasses. What's down here? Oh, I think that's a, uh, a thing that I can gift to people. You can uh, give gifts to people in order to increase like your friendship or love. I don't know if it's like a friendship level, a love level. I don't know what it is. Um... Oh, and this is a graveyard down here. I didn't even notice. Our beloved Mona. Aww. What's this one? It's old and faded. Okay. Is this like a pet graveyard? Oh. Things I- I- what? Different language. Okay. I'm gonna try to read it. What's this one? Oh, can I not read this one? Guess not. There's a sewer down there. I'm not gonna explore everything. There's a lot of things to explore and I can't do it all in one day. Um, but I will... Um, well, I've seen a couple people go into the Star Drop Saloon, so I'll go in there and see what's going on. Come in, come in. Thank you. Let's see. Go talk to this guy. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Nice to meet ya. Glad to see you. You're always welcome here. Thank you. Who are you, pal? Oh, Pam. Nice eyeshadow. Hey, kid. The name's Pam. Wonderful. Love it. Well, there's a jukebox over there. Looks like we can pick music. Oh, I didn't talk to Miss Blue Hair back here. Who are you? Got a lot of alcohol. I like it. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. Emily, aw. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Thanks, Emily. It's my boyfriend's sister's name. And I like her, so I'm gonna like Emily, I think. Especially her blue hair. Who are you over here by the by the fireplace? I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Shane. Oh, he's a not a pleasant person. Oh, and I can't talk to him again either, like Penny. Well Penny was shy, so that's okay, but now he he's just being kinda kinda rude. There's an arcade over here. My goodness, so many things to do. I'm not gonna play any of those yet, but I know I will eventually. Just a little storage room. And it looks like somebody, I guess the the owner lives above uh, above the bar. That's nice. I like this big papa bear over here. Alrighty. I don't think, let's see, I assume you can buy things. Yeah, okay, cool, you can buy food. Adds energy and health. Beer adds energy and health. Drink in moderation. Thank you for that warning. Lots of things. Coffee. Oh, adds energy, health, and a little bit of speed. Cool. And you can buy recipes. I think, yeah, eventually you can upgrade your house where there's a kitchen and you can cook things. So you can get recipes. But I have absolutely zero money right now, so <laughs> I am not going to get any of those. Alright, it's getting kind of late. I should head back. I have a couple of things to plant with the little bit of energy I have left here. Oh, I should gift that to somebody. Who do I want to gift it to? Who's, who's single? Who's single here? Social. <gasps> Penny single. She's so wholesome, so quiet, so shy. Who's single? Who's single? Oh, <gasps> the doctor's single. Oh, man. Leah single. Maru single. I liked Leah. Don't care about Lewis. He's a little uh, aged for me. <laughs> oh, Robin's not single. That's a bummer. That's okay. Alright, there's no one, uh... Where's Harvey right now? Does it tell you people's schedules on here? No, you just kind of have to learn people's schedules. So, okay. I'll, uh, I'll gift that. What is it? Yeah, Daffodil. Makes a nice gift. I'll gift that to somebody later. Time to get back home. And you have to, uh, if you run out of energy, I know you'll kind of pass out and be healed slash lifted to your home, but you'll wake up the next day with, uh, less energy and I think some money missing from the people that you, uh, that you helped. Or that helped you. Not that you helped. <laughs> okay, and then also if you, um, go to bed. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. See, I like everything to be nice and symmetrical. 
Um, no, I didn't want to do that. Oh my god. That's really frustrating. Can you unho land? Ugh. That's super frustrating to me. I like everything to look nice and symmetrical. Ugh. That's really gonna bother me. Okay, whatever. I'm just not gonna think about it for right now. I'm gonna plant my beans. Three, four. Okay. Um, so as I was saying, you have to uh, go to bed by midnight. Uh, or no, by 2 a.m. is the cutoff. Otherwise, it's kind of like if you run out of energy, you'll you'll pass out but, and you'll wake up at home. Um, but with less energy and less money, I believe. Watering my beans, my cauliflower, everything is so dark. I'm gonna see if I can... How much? What do I need for a torch? A couple torches. Where am I? Where'd I go? Where'd I go? Crafting. Oh, just a wood and two sap, and I'm pretty sure... No, oh, I didn't want to water. Ugh. Pretty sure I have that. Yeah! Wood, sap. Okay. And I think I'm gonna sell this fiber for now, and this clay for now, and this stone for now, because I don't need a path or um, a campfire or anything like that just yet, but I do need a little bit of money, so... Um... So let me go ahead and craft torch. Put that there. Craft this. Put that there. Ooh, somebody just slammed their door outside. Okay, I'm gonna put this torch right there. I'll put this torch. Let's see, one, two. I'll put this torch here. I'm gonna plant some more things eventually, probably. And that covers enough light just so I can see my, my crops a little bit better. And I need to put some things in here to sell. I'm gonna put this stone in there, this clay, and the fiber. So hopefully I'll get a little bit, I mean I will get a little bit of money tomorrow. Hopefully it's something that'll actually help. But it's getting late. I think I should go to bed and get ready for my big day tomorrow. I don't know what's going on, but I'll probably plant some more things and explore a little bit more. Yep, nice and quiet in here. Oh, I completely forgot to watch the TV. I'll do that before I go to bed. Watching the TV is important in this game. Um, you need to know what the weather's going to be tomorrow. Um, you can see what your luck is going to be. And then there's these little special shows. So let's see what the weather's going to be tomorrow. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. I keep changing voices. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Perfect. Oops, didn't mean to do that. And then the fortune teller. Ah, oh, yes, I can hear the spirits whispering something to me. The spirits are mildly perturbed today. Luck will not be on your side. Well, I guess I should have seen that earlier. But I think um, your luck has to do with like playing video games and going fishing and things like that. Um, and then maybe I think when you're harvesting plants, um, when your luck is better, you'll get um, better quality plants that will sell for more, maybe. Then I think this is a little special show. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. Hey, that's what I did. I did it without even looking at that. Go me. I mean, okay, I have played this game a little bit, so I guess I shouldn't pat myself on the back too much. But, alright. It is very late. Oh, yep, it's saying it's getting late. It's turning to midnight. At 2 a.m., like I said, you'll pass out. So I'm going to get in bed and end today. And I will be back tomorrow with a new episode. Um, I think it's going to have a little preview or a little synopsis here. Didn't really earn anything from much. Oh, I earned 42 gold from everything I put in the, uh, the box. That's nice. Um, so yeah, that's my synopsis for the day. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this is enjoyable. Um, I don't know exactly what the audio levels are going to sound like. If you think something sounds too loud or too soft, um, I'm going to try to edit it um, as best I can to make it sound nice, but it's probably going to take a little bit of tweaking after a couple episodes to get it just right, so let me know. Um, this is probably going to be the longest episode since there was a big introduction and stuff. Um, after this, it'll just be a day per episode, and I think each day is about 15 minutes long. 
but obviously when you're in menus and stuff it pauses so it might be around 20-25 minutes just depending on um, what all I'm doing in that episode but I'll try to skip over boring things and um, repetitive things things like that but uh, hope you all enjoyed I'll be back soon with a new episode you all be kind to one another and don't forget to be awesome bye